Hey, what's up everyone? I'm your host Snows, and today we've got a lot to cover on your boot sequence. All right, let's jump right into it. Google seems to have accidentally revealed that Android P will possibly have some iPhone X-like gestures. In their developer's blog, Google has neglected to crop out the navigation bar, and this is what it looks like. The bar no longer includes a multitask button, and the center home button looks smaller and sort of pill-shaped, kind of like on the iPhone X. According to 9to5Google, the devs are testing a new navigation system that is similar to the iPhone X's with a swipe up gestures that reveals the multitasking screen. Those are still just screenshots though, which means we don't know if this is a button or a gesture indicator like on the iPhone X. In hardware news, AMD's second generation Ryzen-based CPUs are now available for pre-order. While everything is still under embargo, it seems the CPU is a slight step up from its first generation. Named the Ryzen 2000 series, we have enough information to deduce that it's all around about 6-8% faster. This is only based on the base clock though. What I hope is that thanks to the optimization phase they had, we see a boost clock that is similar to Intel Turbo Boost, where all of the cores boost up instead of just two like it was on the first generation. This would give Ryzen a significant performance increase without having to use overclocking. Personally, I would also like a little more overclocking headroom. A 2700X at 4.5 gigahertz on all cores would make me buy it instantly. Not to mention it would do wonders to my stocks. Intel, on the other hand, released what I call the Core Plus series. The series acts as a platform extension to their 8th gen Intel Core lineup. The sort of sub-brand is basically an i5, i7, or i9 processor bundled up with an Optane caching SSD. The name of the new series is, wait for it, i5+, plus, i7+, plus, and i9+. Plus. Wow, Intel! Nice names! The bundle is said to be for PC DIYers like me and you who want to spend money on an Intel CPU but want to cut corners on buying an SSD. One of the cool thing about Optane that you might not know is the fact that it caches data from any hard drive, not just your boot drive, which means that the games or other programs that you have stored on a separate drive are also accelerated by it. The thing is though, if you already have, let's say, a one terabyte hard drive, the upgrade the upgrade path is usually to go with an SSD and not another hard drive. And with a 16GB Optane drive, there's not much to be cached there. If the bundle included a 64GB Optane drive, I could see it completely replace SSDs in budget builds. So what do you think about this Intel move? Let me know down in the comments below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Pricing wise, the premium for the Optane drive is around $35 to $40 above the original CPU price. Keep in mind that this is for a 16 gigabyte Optane drive. Anyways, in other news, we've got things that make you say, hey, I like that. That's pretty cool. The last Blue Jays versus Indians game was delayed because of bad weather. Those are baseball teams. And while the field was empty, someone decided it was a good idea to play Fortnite on a Jumbotron. The official Cleveland Indians account tweeted, making the most out of a bad situation. And they posted this. It wasn't clear who was playing, and it seems like we don't have a victory royale or anything. But hey, that was pretty cool. Also, PUBG's new event called War turned a battle royale game into a Call of Duty-like mega deathmatch. The event will last until the 15th, and it splits player into squads of 10. The goal is to get up to 200 points, and every kill is worth 3 points. I really like how they're allowing people to enjoy a fun, action-packed segment in a game mode like Battle Royale that is usually painfully slow in my opinion. And lastly, Sega announced their mini Mega Drive. During their Sega FES 2018 stream, the company announced that it will be releasing it in Japan later this year. Oh no, I wanted to play Altered Beast here. Hopefully it'll come to America soon. There's no words on the games yet, but Sega said that they will release a number of Sega Classic on the Nintendo Switch, including Sonic the Hedgehog, Fantasy Star, and Thunder 4. 
only one of which I've heard of. Now it's time for a little one-on-one -on -one time where I reveal a deep dark secret about me. When I was about 13, I was on a TV show called Our Force. It's a French TV show, you probably don't know it. It was sort of a meet your idol type of TV show and being a young beatboxer, I met with my beatboxing idol. It was not a good experience. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the stories and what kind of stories you would like to hear in the future. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at boot underscore sequence and click here to watch the latest video and right here to subscribe. Hit that bell too, will ya? That way you get notified. YouTube actually doesn't notify you if you're just subscribed. There's that extra level of security or I don't know what. Anyways, I'm Snows, I hope you enjoyed me, have yourselves a great day, stay frosty, and I'll see you on the next one.